Hi everyone, again it's time for the best part of your day when the guy with the nice radio voice solves another one of these Leco problems, in this case number 9 palindrome number, which is marked as easy. But is it that easy? Well it is, but it actually involves two ideas here, so let's take a look. Given an integer x, return true if x is a palindrome integer. Well, what does that mean? An integer is a palindrome when it reads the same backward as forward. For example, 121 is a palindrome while 123 is not. So if we look at 121, we could read it from left to right or from right to left and it still looks the same. Whereas if we do minus 121, that signal over here, that little mark of negative, that negative mark, will um, not be the same if you reverse it. 10 well, does, is not the same. 1, 0 is not the same as 0, 1. And minus 101 is negative as well, so same idea that um, that returns false. So let's immediately, let's immediately say if x smaller than 0, return false. So we know those. And let's immediately also say Okay, so we have these numbers like 1 to 9, those, um, or rather 0 to 9, if x bigger or equal to 0, and let's have fun with C++, and x smaller or equal to 9, then return true. And this is so because if you encounter any of these numbers from 0 to 9 individually, it's only one character, so it could be read left to right, whatever way you want. Now, one easy way of doing this is returning is, it's easier if you look at it as a string because you could manipulate it more easily. Um, so let's come up with another function here. Let's overload this function and accept a string instead. Um, string which will pass by, which will pass like this, sorry, by reference. And in fact, we could pass it as a const reference just to make it clear. Um, and let's see how we check that as a, whether it's a palindrome. So we'll start with int i equals zero, which is the beginning of our string, and int j equals um, in string dot size minus one. So that's the start of J. So while um, while I smaller than J, um, let's just check the string. Let's see now. If in string I not equal to in string j as that's going on then return false and if all of that passes for each iteration then we increment i and we decrement j and that should be fine and if it goes through all of this and if it's fine then return true okay now um let's see how to convert this into um, into, what is this? Into a string. So let's come up with a string over here. std string my string, which will initialize at nothing. And um, let's see now. So while x bigger than 0, okay, so how do we do this? Well, x bigger than 0, then how are we going to do this? Okay, so we need to transfer, we need to tr transfer each character of x. So uh, let's see now, my string, we're going to plus equals x, um, x modulus 10 plus zero. Now I hope this works. So this is the zero character here. So this is going to give me my digit. And yeah, 
Exactly. And then as we do that, we say x. Does that work? I believe so. Yeah, I believe that should be it. Yeah, I believe that should be it. And now we want to return. Um, return is palindrome my string. So once we created the string over here, and what we're doing to create the string is kind of transforming x every time. We we put the modulus, so this kind of technique of getting ev every individual digit, we mod by 10. So we get we divide by 10, and what we keep is the remainder, and that becomes the digit, and then we divide by 10. And then we do that every time until it equals zero. Let's see if this works. It's taking an inordinate amount of time with leak code. Let's see if we refresh. See if we refresh and maybe that becomes a little better. So run that code. It works. Submit. And it worked. Thanks a lot, everyone.